absolutely love that river. I've been walking by the river for 60 years now. The Chattahoochee River is cleaner now than it's been in the last 20 years. People are connecting with the river and the rivers around our state. These rivers are our lifeblood, the lifeblood of our communities. John Cochran, ABC News, Washington. On this eve of Earth Day, new concerns about the health of the nation's waterways. Already tainted by raw sewage, environmentalists worry the Chattahoochee is only getting more polluted as the Georgia capital prepares for the 1996 Summer Olympics. So it is fair to ask just how bad is Atlanta's water pollution? Atlanta fouls its water in two main ways. One is from runoff from roads, office parks, and home sites. It flushes eventually into the Chattahoochee River. And when it rains, Atlanta storm drains overwhelm its old sewage system. A national conservation organization designated the Chattahoochee River as the most endangered urban river in North America. There was sewage coming up in people's basements yep. and in their front yards, and people downstream were very upset. 20 years ago, obviously, we were, we were struggling with the quantity and quality of water that was coming downstream to us from Atlanta. The river, as I knew it growing up, and as I knew it when I acquired property on the river, was pretty nasty. The metro area would pay a fine and dump dirty water into the river and send it down our way. It was cheaper for them to pay the fine than to fix the numerous problems that they were facing with their water system. We started having meetings of 20 concerned citizens in different boardrooms around town trying to think of what we could create. And the model of a riverkeeper came down from Bobby Kennedy and company in New York and what they were doing on the Hudson. And there was this one continuous bright start and it was Sally Bethay, our riverkeeper. Can this river be saved? Absolutely. I wouldn't have this job if I didn't think we could do it. Chattahoochee Riverkeeper filed a lawsuit in federal court in 1995 that resulted in the city being forced to clean up the sewer discharges. I got calls from developers and from a lot of people, civic leaders, what are you doing suing the city of Atlanta? A few developers, once explained what we're trying to do, realized what, what was at stake. The Chattahoochee River Keepers and Sally have basically led the effort that has required the city of Atlanta to make billions and billions of dollars of investment in its sewer system. Those investments have yielded nearly $18 billion of new public and private investment. Had there not been a suit, had there not been a Sally Bethay, had there not been a board at the Chattahoochee River Keeper, the city of Atlanta would have dragged its feet for another 50 years. Chattahoochee River Keeper works with many partners with multiple programs to achieve our goal of a clean river. Rivers like the Chattahoochee connect people, people who love this river. And so on a day like today, when we have 600 people out picking up trash, we're all coming together, whether we live upstream, downstream, in the city. I found a large dump site with lots of oil um, and black tar. So I reported that to the authorities years ago, and I ended up coming back, taking a look, and I saw that it was like an active oil dump site. And so I then picked up the phone and called the Chattahoochee Riverkeeper and I knew that they would take action. We followed up on Trey's tip and we went out and we did a site investigation and we found that there was an illegal discharge into the Chattahoochee River. So we filed a lawsuit in federal court and we're gonna make sure that this pollution stops. Erosion and sedimentation is a problem for the river because it destroys habitat for wildlife and fish. It causes flooding downstream and it fills in drinking water reservoirs and decreases our water supply. Our Get the Dirt Out program addresses this problem through field investigations, 
public workshops for citizens and developers, stream restoration projects, and when necessary, legal action. The Soak Free Project was one of the very first natural stream stability restoration projects that have been done in the southeast. Along with the landowner losing a lot of property, the water quality in the stream itself becomes degraded and you lose fish habitat. It was a great pairing of the scientists that work for the Chattahoochee Riverkeeper and the scientists from the Environmental Protection Agency that led to a project being so successful. Bacteria Alert Monitoring Program is, is really a partnership, federal, state, local governments, and the Chattahoochee Riverkeeper. We work together, Riverkeepers on the ground, we provide monitoring, and provide the science and the information we need that helps us manage the river. The timeliness of the information I receive from the Riverkeepers as well as all the members of the Water Coalition, they have the credibility. They know the waters of Georgia, they know the science, and they are willing to share that with us so we can make the best decisions. The water war between Georgia, Alabama, and Florida has been going on now for 25 years. Nobody has anything to show for it except a tall stack of paid legal bills. Chattahoochee Riverkeeper was one of the original members of the ACF board. We are deeply grateful for Sally Bethay's active participation on the board and for that of her colleague, Laura Hart. Laura has spent countless hours, days, and weeks working on getting facts straight, validating science and modeling, and helping to develop a sustainable water management plan. Chattahoochee Riverkeeper recognizes water conservation efforts in a couple of ways. Every year we publish the Filling the Water Gap Report, which chronicles conservation success stories among businesses and local governments. We also recognize innovative conservation efforts with our annual River Sustainability Award, and in 2012, Toto was a recipient of this award. Water conservation helps everybody because it saves not only the water, but energy as well. Thanks to Sally's great idea and her vision over 15 years ago to start a boat program on Lake Lanier, we were able to do that. Now we have successfully had over 35,000 students on the Chota Princesses and great educational opportunity for these students. Thank you, Chattahoochee Riverkeeper! Back in the 70s, the river raft race was popular, but not very environmentally friendly. Today, our Back to the Chattahoochee River Race Festival is more family-oriented and a more environmentally friendly event. I decided to volunteer for the Water Watch program as soon as I heard about it because nobody was monitoring the Chattahoochee south of the wastewater treatment facility. We've been delivering uh, data for a number of years now and we've actually found some pretty significant hits in E. coli bacteria that have led to us getting some corrective action from the city. I think it's an important part of our city that there is this organization that does this and that's all they do. It's not just kind of waiting for someone, some mysterious them to fix it. It's actually the residents themselves taking ownership of environmental problems in their own community. River keepers have been an important part of, uh, of saving the Chattahoochee River and, and in saving the Chattahoochee River you saved this whole tri-state area that's dependent upon it. I had no idea that in the end we would be as successful as we've been. Chattahoochee Riverkeeper should have a bright future because there's still more to do.